Hi friends, my name is Sparkle. I'm here today with my friend Sabrina to teach her about time. Say hi Sabrina. Hi friends. Sabrina, do you know what's the time now? Hmm, no, I don't. What's the time? Right now, the time is showing us that it's 12 o'clock. That's because the two hands, the long hand, this one, and the small hand, this one, they were both on the 12. This is called an analog clock. The time goes from one all the way to the 12. Time goes from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. The long hand is the minutes hand, and the short hand is called the hours hand. When the minute hand moves all around the clock like this, now the time is one o'clock. And then when it moves again all around, this is the clock direction. What time is it now, Sabrina? Uh, that's two o'clock. Good job, Sabrina. And then as it moves again all around, what time is it now? It's three o'clock. And then again, now the small hand is at four, the long hand is at 12. So it's four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven, eight, nine o'clock, what time is it now, Sabrina? Good job, Sabrina. Yes, that's 10 o'clock. The small hand is on 10. The big hand is on 12. And now it's 11 o'clock. And back to 12 o'clock again. So that's how you can tell time by the hour. The dots that you see here in between, these dots represent minutes so every dot is one minute and in between 12 to 1 there's five minutes from 1 to 2 there's also five two to three five three to four five minutes four to five five minutes and all the way until you get to 12. so there are five minutes in between these big numbers that helps us to know the time by the hour and the minute. So if the minute's hand, the big hand, goes all the way to five, that means that the time is 12 or five. So it's 12 o'clock and five minutes. And if it goes all the way to 10, so that is 12, and 10 minutes 15 that's quarter that's 12 and 15 minutes here that's 12 and 20 minutes 12 25 and 12 30 1 15 is also called quarter past one so when the minutes hand goes to 15, 15 is also called quarter past because we have passed quarter of the hour. So this is quarter past one. When the minutes hand goes to six, now I'm sure you're saying that this is 130. That's correct. But this can be also called half past one because now the minute's hand is halfway through the hour. So it's half past one. Now the time is 1.45, one o'clock and 45 minutes. This time can be also called quarter to two because there is 15 minutes left here to get to two o'clock. And when this 15 minutes go around, now it's two o'clock so this time here is called 
quarter to two. Sabrina, what time is it now? Hmm, that is two o'clock. Yes, good job, Sabrina. That is two o'clock. And what if the minute hand goes all the way to 15? What is that called? That is 215. It can be also called quarter past two because quarter of the time has passed. Great job, Sabrina. That's exactly it. And what if the minutes hand goes to 30 all the way at the bottom here, which is halfway? What is that? Um, that is half past two. It's like half a pizza. Yes, that's right. It's like half a pizza. It's halfway through two o'clock. And what if the minute's hand goes all the way here? That is two and 45 minutes. And it can be also called quarter to three. Great job, Sabrina. That's exactly it. And when the minute hand goes to three, now it's three o'clock. Now I know how to read the time when I have to go to my swimming class and when I go to school. Great job, Sabrina. Yes, now you can read the time. What about you, Cookie and Chase? Did you have fun? Woof, 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 woof. See you another time. Bye. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you. See you another time.